Hey guys, what is up? It is Trigger Live, and sorry for the lack of videos lately, but like I said, it's near the end of the summer, been doing lots of stuff, and hanging out with friends, so <coughs> they will get back onto normal as the school schedule comes into place, and I'm actually going to school Thursday, so fuck my life. But this is an update video where, okay, I know there's lots of update videos, guys, right now, but listen, I'm, I'm early in my YouTube career, right? I'm, I'm early in my YouTube, my YouTube's in a smaller part of, the, of a channel. And, uh, this gives me an opportunity to change my commentary style without being criticized too much. So I'm, I'm actually gonna try and find my zone. Now, every commentator has a, his own feeling, you know? When you see him in your sub box, you know what kind of commentary is coming. Uh, I want to have a certain feeling, and which is humorous. Now, it's kind of hard to picture, I, I mean, obviously I have some jokes in my videos, and I guess some people laugh at them, but in real life, guys... I'm actually, uh, I mean, not, not to bray, I guess, or anything like that, but I'd like to say I'm a pretty funny people, and lots of people, uh, I've had, like, a lot of people actually say that I'm the funniest person they've met, and it kind of sucks that I can't, uh, bring that over to a commentary aspect, because I'm, uh, I, my com my comedy that I do in real life, I, I use other people, I use people to, uh, project my, uh, jokes off of, uh, not necessarily making fun of, but... I just need other people to have jokes, uh, f at least for me, that's just how I run. And it kind of sucks that I can't really move that over to commentary, but I will uh, I will try my best to make jokes with you guys and uh, have fun, but it's it's hard for me, guys. Uh, now, it's hard to be yourself on YouTube, and I'm going to tell you why, because if you're not yourself on YouTube, and let's say some hater says, uh, you know, faggot, ass, pussy, or something, it, it calls you out on some shit, I don't know, and you're not yourself, you're like, I can brush that off. I mean, you don't obviously say this, but in your, in your conscience, like, behind the scenes of your mind, you're thinking, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't even need to worry about that. This is, this isn't even really me. But if you really put your, your heart and soul into a video, and, and it's completely you, and someone makes fun of you, and you've been working on this video or something, it's really, uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, it's, uh, it really, beats you down if someone says that they hate that. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm a small YouTube channel, so I, I, I mean, I pretty much get no hate uh, on my videos, so it should be easy for me to be myself, but it, it is really hard, guys. I really want to show you guys who I actually am in real life. Uh, if you ask my friends, I, I, they'd say that I'm actually different in commentaries than I am in real life, and that's true. I am different in commentaries than I am in real life, but hopefully, oh my god, no breath left. <laughs> hopefully, I can change that, and, uh, be something better for you guys. Uh, I will try my best because I really do want to uh, be humorous for you guys. I love. Uh, I am the attack is right now my favorite commentator. He's hilarious. If you guys don't know him, definitely check him out. I am the attack. He's he's so funny and um, you know that's kind of the humor I have, but with other people and. It makes it hard uh, to see that he can pull it off by himself, and I can't. So I'm going to try and practice on uh, doing, uh, I guess, comedy on my own, which is hard. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I could I could do it. I've had actually people say I could be a stand-up comedian, so uh, hopefully I can uh, prove that point and become a stand-up comedian or uh, on, on, on YouTube at least. So that is that I do have a very small story to say actually I think I forgot if I said this or not but I am ending top five series uh, what would you do is staying and sugar live is staying now I'm not that organized of a person so my videos are gonna be less organized uh, like I said unless I didn't say I don't know it's like the third time doing this commentary because uh, distractions and stuff speed arts are staying but uh, overall the the feeling of the channel will be less organized and uh, just more kind of spontaneous videos and that's what I want to be spontaneous uh, a spontaneous commentator to have spontaneous humor and all that and hopefully that uh, works out but this is a very small video of how I got a summertime job this year um, and how that summertime job went uh, down quicker than the Hindenburg because it was it's it was pretty bad so pretty much we're chilling at Timmy's. If you guys know what Timmy's is, it's a coffee place in, Amer in, in America, in Canada. Uh, they have like donuts, coffee, sandwiches, all the good stuff. Um, so we're chilling there, me and two buddies, and uh, this guy walks in and he's like, Hey guys, um, I was wondering if you can do a job for me. I'll be paying you $30 an hour. 
and we're like, well, it's obviously porn, and there's three of us, so I guess, I guess so. So we, uh, we, we follow him, and he's like, come on, get in my, uh, my truck. And, uh, even though there's three of us, and him and his wife, you know, never get into a person's truck, you never know what they have in there, it's, uh, never the smartest idea, so we were like, you know what, we'll just, walk, we'll just walk, we can, uh, where is it? And he told us it was in this neighborhood, so we go, and it's, it's actually a construction job. Well, not a construction, landscaping, to be more, uh, specific. Oh god, then the video's coming, I'm gonna have to wrap this up. So, uh, we end up at the landscaping place, and for 30 bucks an hour, it's pretty easy, you know, just laying sod, uh, throwing rocks into a pile so that he can uh, easily spread the dirt. All the simple stuff that a landscaper really has. And then he said, listen, I'll take your numbers, I'll call you if I need you, and uh, pretty much we had a summer job. So uh, I texted him uh, so that he could get my contact info. And uh, I got one job with him, uh, and the actual pay was $12 an hour, which is still really good. It was only $30 an hour that one night because he was so desperate. But uh, $12 an hour is still not the worst, still uh, I can deal with it, you know? And uh, so I worked with him that one night, and then me and my friends never got a call back. Like, I don't know if he hated us or something, but he seemed like a nice guy, but he never called us back. I've even texted him one more time. He just didn't respond. He just completely cock-blocked us out of his life, uh, hoping we'd never get into personal contact with him again. And we actually saw him once again. Um, this actually might be why he never called us again. We saw him once, me and my buddy saw him once, uh, Tim Hortons, and he said, why don't you guys come work for me at this place? And we were like, yeah, that, uh, that sounds good. But uh, unfortunately, uh, the ganja marijuana got in the way, and because uh, we, were, we were actually high when he asked us, and um, we completely forgot. <laughs> so uh, we never went to that, and I think that's why he might have uh, let us go, but it kind of sucks. I really wanted a summertime job and unfortunately lost it there But anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully changes coming to my channel I really don't know how to be myself on YouTube, but I will try and uh, Bring myself out into my videos. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed have a nice week